Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I want to give you a quick breakdown of how I made that sculpture, just to give you guys a little bit of info in case you want to try it on your own. And I just want to show you some expert tricks and tips. And like I said, I'm just going to do a three minute breakdown. This isn't the full video, um, just giving you guys an introduction. Some things I did, and then we'll go from there uh, next video. I'm going to try to make more videos for you guys. Basically, like I said, I just want to get to know who is watching this channel and what you guys really need to know. A lot of people are experts. A lot of people, there's so many reefing channels out there you probably subscribe to. So you're probably bored with the calcium talk, alkalinity, refugium, how to feed your fish. So I want to do some more fun stuff. Um, since we are opening a new shop, uh, I really need everyone's help just to make this aquarium store a success. So I appreciate, like I said, feedback. This is a community business, family business. Um, you know, they're developing houses every day in my neighborhood. So I'm hoping there's a lot of inquisitive minds out there, some young children who want to get into the aquarium hobby. So we are in the shop. So let me just break this down real quick for you guys. Um, so here is the two important things that you need when starting out. Okay, you're going to have your parts A and B and also your folding power, powder. So the folding powder is very important. This is like dough. You're kneading this stuff together. Um, I have that sealed on there pretty tight. I'm not going to open it up. But you're basically going to take out half and half. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So when you mix this stuff up, you mix it in here. You knead your dough. The more flour you mix in with it, the thicker the dough. So once you have your consistency the way you want and you start sculpting, okay, when you have a, a shape, now what we did is you see PVC laying all over here. Um, tons of PVC, I'm always looking for shapes. So here are the bigger boys I have on the bottom. So when we do the eel cave, okay, I'm gonna design something. We're gonna start with so probably a piece of PVC like that. Now you can also use this green foam over here, right? And you can stack this foam up, glue it together with a hot glue gun and then carve it and actually make your rock with this first if you're into designing like that. That'll save you a ton of money on this material because when you're trying to shape stuff and you're putting it over something that's not the correct shape, you gotta add more material to fill in those gaps and whatnot. If you already have the shape, you're just covering it. So this is expert level. As you guys can see, look at the rock work, look at the design on here, okay? So someone didn't just sculpt this, they, they really put some rock detail in here and they painted it. So, um, I guess I'll show you how we do that, right? So, I'll start off, let's go over here for a second. Okay, so here's where we started picking out some rocks, and we started trying to find out what do we want to use when starting to mix around um, the shapes. So let's see, so we got this rock over here. Um... Yeah, so okay, I don't want to go in, like I said, too much detail, there's just so much to talk about, but I'll tell you, if you're molding something for a stamp, something like this is awesome, because it's a repetitive pattern, and you can actually make the corals look really cool by using a stamp like that. Something like this, in a can of knot is really cool, um, you know, there's different corals that you can use. So, but, using a rock shape, okay, here's a cool pattern too, very cool. Um, coral skeletons can come in handy for stuff like this when you're trying to design the perfect rockscape. But anyway, as I like to ramble for you guys, let's pick out one of these things. I'm just showing you um, kind of the mess that I occurred over here. So um, there's different types of rubbers, different types of synthetics. I mean, there's just so much to learn on a daily basis. It's not just reefing. It's, it's everything. So this channel is more about fishing and reefing than just like I said things in general life um, so okay so this is the rock that I chose um, to mold after it just seemed like it had some good random patterns in it and it would just look pretty cool so when we mold and we have our shape that we're gonna go design around may it be a predetermined 3d printed sculpture of a rock and we're just coating it or something like that um, and then we're gonna take this now this is in a bucket of water the reason I have it in the water is because when I was shaping some stuff the other day, you want to keep it wet so it doesn't stick to the putty. So I, mean, I should probably clean this off now and dry it off. But 
it's pretty awesome. You see these textures in here? It completely mimics exactly this. So when you look at these together, they're identical. Okay, this is the match, the mold of, of that. So, and this is the folding powder. Um, you should always wear gloves and you should always rinse everything when you're done. You do not want to mess. Uh, all right. So anyway, that's the quick thing for today. I just wanted to show you guys that much. We'll get into this in more detail later. Um, here's the other molds that I made. And then you use these to stamp around. This is that really cool Acan Econata, what it looks like, the skeleton underneath. So when you stamp that, awesome. Um, this is that, I think this was the scroll coral um, top. And then this thing here is, oh man, I can't remember off the top of my head what this was. So I want to say it's a plot of, uh, la, la, la. oh man, that's going to drive me crazy. I can't remember. If anyone out there remembers just by looking at the skeleton, what type of coral it is, let me know. Um, it'll probably hit me later. So multitasking drives my brain crazy sometimes. I start to forget things because I just have so much on my mind. I'm actually on my way to a ukulele lesson right now, but I just wanted to do something for you guys real quick. So I will be heading out of here, but like I said, this is your channel. This is more than just mine, it's a community. If there's something you guys wanna know, if there's a question, I'm gonna research it and find it for you guys. So, and painting, I really wanna learn how to paint. This is amazing. I love highlighting the coralline algae. You'll see some rock work. That is just gorgeous. The guy's tanked. Everyone knows who they are. Um, the acrylic company, they, they do some amazing inserts. They're really, really good into that. So I see other people and I'm inspired by them and I want to do better. I hope you guys are too. You know, I, I don't mind copiers and people who want to do what I do because they see it and they're enjoying it. People get mad. I can't believe how many phone calls I got from people in other YouTube channels saying, why did you make a video about lighting? And I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, dude, you're nut. So I'm gonna educate you guys. I'm not holding back. I, I'm gonna make these and sell them, but I'm also at the same time, if you can make one better than me, shoot, you deserve to get paid. So there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Stay tuned for my ukulele solo um, that will come I'm writing a fish song, something about Cora, and I will play it on opening day. It sounds corny, but if it's catchy enough, you just might sing it. <laughs>